Welcome, mathematicians, to another episode with Mr. Murphy. And today we're going to be talking about U.S. coins, in particular, common U.S. coins and how we can identify them by their characteristics. So, first, what is a characteristic? A character characteristic is a way of identifying an object, a thing, or a person. So, for example, I have blue eyes and blonde hair. Those are two of my physical characteristics that help identify me. Let's look at some characteristics that all common U.S. coins have. One, they are all less than one dollar. Two, they are all cents, which means when we say how much they're worth, such as one or five, we make sure that we put cents afterwards. Five cents, ten cents, twenty cents. They are all made out of metal and they have two sides. Those are commonly known as heads and tails. Let's talk about how they're different. This is the way that we're going to tell them apart. They are all worth different amounts. They all are different sizes. They can possibly have be made out of different metals or have different colors. They have different edges, either smooth or bumpy, and they each have something different on the coin. Let's look at the penny to begin. The penny is worth the least amount of any coin. It is worth one cent. It is made out of copper and is the only coin that's made out of copper. It has Abraham Lincoln on the head side of the coin. It has smooth edges and it's the second smallest out of all U.S. common coins. Now let's take a look at the nickel. The nickel is worth a little bit more. It is worth five cents. It is made out of silver, not copper. It has Thomas Jefferson on the head of the coin. It has smooth edges, just like the penny and it is the second largest coin. Now the dime. The dime is worth 10 cents. It's made out of silver like the nickel is, but the president on this coin is Franklin Delano Roosevelt. It has bumpy edges, not smooth, and it happens to be the smallest US common coin. The last coin we're gonna take a look at is the quarter. The quarter is worth 25 cents. It's made out of silver, just like the nickel and dime, but it has our first president on the head side, which is George Washington. It's bumpy edges, it has bumpy edges, and it happens to be the largest common coin. All right, guys, let's see if you can identify these coins. Which coin is the dime? You guessed it. This is the dime, the smallest U.S. common coin. Okay, let's try another one. Which one is the penny? You guessed it again, great job. The penny is the only one that's made out of copper. Let's try to find the quarter. All right, you did it again. Here's the quarter. The quarter is the largest common coin. And last but not least, can you find the nickel? You guessed it. Here's the nickel over here, the second largest coin with Thomas Jefferson on the head side. Okay guys, today we learned how to identify common U.S. coins by their characteristics. Great job. I had a blast.